In this video, I'm going to take you along our normal range test route that we test all the receivers to to make sure the radios are working, and then we're going to see how much extra we can get out of these radios. Okay, so to begin here, I'll just give you a quick rundown of our radio settings as we get to the first stop. And for all my range tests, I always like to set my frequency to 450 megahertz, uh, a protocol of Satel. And my Ford air correction set is off with a power of one watt. And as we drive along here, you can see that there's actually a railroad track that intersects the community and goes right through the middle of our test. But as we get closer to our destination, you can see there's large buildings, um, large leafy trees. Most, and most of the buildings here are under three stories. There's a couple that are, are larger, but for the most part, most buildings are just two, three level homes. All right, so this is the first stop we take whenever we range test any used equipment. So if your used equipment can get out to here, we know the radios inside are good. So. David comes over, I'll just show you how far we are from our base right now. And now let's go see how much further we can get, how much more we can get out of these radios. Okay, so now we just decided to go along the main road and see how much further we could get with these radios. So uh, as you can see here, large apartment building to my left, uh, we're crossing a bridge here and we're getting to a dead end here on the main road. So we'll just pull into this parking lot. All right, so we've driven a bit further down the road here and we're still getting radio at 3.1 kilometers here. So we've got a couple train bridges now in between us, uh, a lot of dirt and a ton of trees and buildings. So David comes over here again, I'll just show you. We're 3.11 kilometers away and we'll see if we can't get this out uh, a couple more kilometers down the road here. Okay, so we decided to pull out of this parking lot and then just head down onto the main road here. So we're kind of outside the community now, but we still got a railroad in between us, all those bridges, that large apartment building now, all the trees and houses that were between us in the original test, but we'll see, we'll see how they do here. All right, so we've gone further down the road now. So we've got a train yard to my right here. We've got a bunch of school buses and construction work to my left. And then I got a big hill with a bridge over there. We've got those train bridges we already passed and we're 3.9 kilometers out from the base and I'm still getting regular radio right now. Okay, so we tested it out there and then we decided we may as well head back into the community and see what the furthest point is from our base that we could find. Uh, and this is where this uh, next shot was taken. All right, so we've driven as far as we can in this direction. We've run out of real estate to kind of drive without completely leaving the city here. And uh, we're three and a half kilometers from our base. We've still got a fix. We've got perfect radio right now. We've got a couple train bridges in between us. We've got buildings, power lines, school, a whole school building that's blocking this out. And we're still getting perfect radio. So if David comes up here and shows you, I've got 3.5 kilometers from my reference. And if we look at our radio lights here, uh, it's it's blinking perfectly. We're not seeing any any delays at all. So. so as we drive back to the office here, I think I'll give some context to this video. So we got 3.9 kilometers out of this radio without any issue at all. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't really find anywhere else that was safe to test these radios that we wouldn't be at risk of getting hit by a car or blocking traffic. But you should easily be able to expect in similar conditions. So that's um, a community with large trees, um, many houses, power lines, things like that. You should easily be able to expect four to five kilometers out of these radios. I would say anything more than that would be a bit of a bonus. And then just keep in mind, when you're in ideal conditions, you can get much further than this. So I'll just link to the video in the top right corner, but we tested this out on the Bald Top Prairie where we could almost look back and see our base and we got 11.6 kilometers out of these internal radios on one watt. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then the other option you have, if you need more range than this and it's you just can't work with that four to five kilometer range and you need more assurance, maybe you wanna go 10, 15, even 20 kilometers. Um, there's an option called Stormcaster that we have available. And Stormcaster sends the corrections over the cell network. So in town, this is the perfect solution because you don't have to worry about what can obstruct your radio. You don't have to worry about your base. You can mount your base somewhere permanent. And as long as you're within a reasonable distance to your base, you can use the cell network to send your corrections and, uh, and get your corrections that way. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about the Hemisphere S631 or maybe you have some questions about microsurveys of Field Genius, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench dashmark.ca